All right, thank you so much for staying with us. Now, let's delve to the topical issue of the day. We would be having a very interesting conversation looking at failed proposals. Now, we would be uh, taking uh, the example of a Nigerian man who probably felt the ground should give way and swallow him after being rejected by his girlfriend. In an attempt to pull off a surprise romantic engagement, the boyfriend had gone on one knee at a mall in Delta State to propose to his woman. Without any hesitation, the lady refused blatantly with a series of no screaming before storming off and the scene of, uh, the, scene of the proposal. In the short video shared on Instagram, the man buried his face on his raised knee before picking himself up. He gave a look like one who missed a job interview <laughs> amid stares from onlookers who had probably thought the engagement would have a happy ending. Now, this is not just a one-off. Some public proposals come with slaps. Yes, serious slap. Harassment, embarrassment, and uh, a, lot of, a lot of public disgrace. We've seen a couple of viral videos of public proposals gone wrong on the Nigerian side of social media. And then many people around the world have also experienced this thing of public embarrassment at one point or the other. Not only a public proposal feels funny, but it is also sad at the same time. It takes guts and a strong conviction to declare your love for someone publicly, like it takes a lot of boldness. But of course, uh, we see a lot of people getting embarrassed and getting their fingers burnt in the end. Now, the question is, should marriage proposal be public or private? This is what our focus will be today on the show. And with us right here is the beautiful perpetual Hello, Fasami Peters. <laughs> you didn't wait for me to. I was taking time to call your name. It was, it was drum roll. <laughs> drum roll. <laughs> Hello, Pep. Good morning. I see we're both in the Valentine mood. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> Very interesting. Sorry. <laughs> so public proposals. What are your thoughts? Because we've seen. Over time, I know that a lot of people say yeah, it's a foreign culture, it's not in our Nigerian you know, culture, but do you think that public uh, proposals should be public or private? Okay, when we talk about proposals, um, I do I do not think the reason those men are getting a no is because they either made it public or private. I want to believe there are foundational issues, really. There are issues that they probably didn't deal with. Number one, before you go on to propose to a lady, I want to believe you've had that conversation one way or the other. You know if the lady is ready to go on. I mean, somehow, you just bring up the conversation somehow before the D-Day, and then there are some persons who, for them, they want their proposals to look a certain way. Mm. And so maybe somehow she has hinted you on the type of proposal she wants. Because first of all, why are you even in a relationship with someone? If you don't yes. have all that information, <laughs> and if you're, you do not have mm. the plan to... I'll come back to why are you in a relationship, mm. because for me, I feel like the knee-jerk reaction when we see something like this is to tell the girl, for crying out loud, why were you in the relationship if mm. you never thought about marrying mm. this guy? But then it occurred to me that there are various reasons why a woman might say no. You might get into that relationship and you're like, yes, this is it, I'm happy. Mm. But then along the line, you, fa you, f you figure there are foundational issues. For example, maybe your goals do not align. Mm. Maybe your values do not align. Maybe there are certain things you believe, certain things you want for yourself. Maybe you're a career woman, for example, and this is a man who feels like, hey, I don't want that. I want a woman who's going to sit at home, take care of my children. These are foundational issues. And mm -hmm. so the fact that... That you didn't discover before going that into probably the Yes, there are some persons who don't discover this thing before getting into the relationship. Mm. So when we get into the relationship and I find out that you have these things that do not align with my values, I might just be waiting for the best time to call it off or there is a possibility that... <laughs> and then the proposal <laughs> is the best time. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. I, no this is it. I might be waiting for the best time to call it off. But somehow, for some reason, you propose at the wrong time. Mm. Okay, um, you, you just talked about foundational issues mm. and probably, you know, the need to wait for the perfect time before um, expressing some sort of discontent okay. or, you know... Now, here's the thing. Some would also tell you, why wait till the proposal time? I, you talked about probably values not aligning, um, foundational issues that are not addressed. Why didn't the lady in question, you know, cut it off? That's what, the way some people Good would question. ask the question. Why didn't you cut it off before then? I mean, if you don't like something, you don't have to endure when you're meant to enjoy the relationship. Well, that's the problem. Certain persons, like I said, you know I said... A diamond 800 karat gold. <laughs> that only vex you. Ring. That only vex you. <laughs> now, there are certain persons who do not know how to probably... Maybe she has tried, she, you know, 
Okay, now let's look at it this way. Maybe she has tried to like, okay, they're, they're trying to see if it's going to work. It may not just be the issue of values. It could be any other thing, really. Maybe she's trying to see if this thing is going to work. And she oh, she's really enjoying the comfort and the money and everything. Well, like, I don't like to put it, it, it that it, way. It, but it depends. Sometimes, that might not be the mm. issue, really. Now, that's, but for me, I believe that if, if those foundational issues are there, you probably have to just end it and let it be. Some persons, they might just be enjoying the company. And that's a wrong thing, really, if you know that th these things do not align just just end it really you don't have to keep um you know you know i like the fact that you mentioned that you must have had the conversation uh you know during the course of your mm -hmm. relationship because some people do not like pub anything public yes yeah, she must have told so the she kind of proposal she said wants, she wants yeah. some way that please i do not like public proposal. if you want to propose to me do it in private my family members my mm -hmm, friends and everything mm -hmm. and then yes that would already tell the guy that Public proposal is, is a no-no. No. No, no. But what, let's uh, look at the case of these ones that are getting slapped and the beating of their lives. See, just, see. Because, <laughs> <laughs> just because they proposed, they took the bold step to propose to the lady. Should the lady go that far? You know, I, I want to believe that that man just missed a bullet. I mean, a woman who could for any reason raise her hand, that woman isn't someone and who And he must have been saying the signs. Do you understand? That's not the woman you want to keep at home. Except, okay, now when we talk about people saying no to proposals, it's possible that the relationship was going to end anyway, and that this guy feels that, you know, uh, let me just propose. propose so she would say yes and all of those. It could be, for example, I had a story of a woman, a lady, she caught the guy cheating, and then the next time the guy is proposing, she's like, what the heck? Hmm. You cheated on me? You, pro you think this proposal is going to make me change my mind? So you want me to give you license to keep cheating even after marriage? Now, in a situation, if, that, if something like that happens, there is probability of getting angry, like, what the heck? But raising your hand? I mean, you can get angry like, you. Are you trying to buy me? I'm not... Hmm. You can get angry, but raising your hand is something I am against. I mean, a woman shouldn't and a man should not raise his or her hand against anyone at all. So, okay, let's... Okay. Oh, sorry to interrupt. Let, let's look at this. There's some folks who tell you um, the lady ought to accept and then reject in private. I've had those discussions even from ladies. You'll be surprised. <laughs> I'm serious. You, 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 you hear like, some people have that opinion. Mm. They just thought, ah, shouldn't have embarrassed them, should have probably accepted in private. And some people actually do. There was a, um, an incident very close to home that mm. the, the, you you know, sure the proposal. The no, I, I'm single, most single, pa. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds is the, not the, saying that thing. Yeah, 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 what? <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> you know, that, there was that incident where the, the guy proposed, the lady accepted, and then the following day she just in private. So what's your take on that regards, oh, to avoid embarrassment, you know, just give him a little bit of dignity and honor, accept it publicly, then you can reject okay, I think private. in that case, um, I'll just leave it to the people involved, really. For me, I might, I might find myself in that situation where I probably, I mean, if there are a lot of persons there, I do not want to embarrass you. I might just collect it and fake a smile and all. But guy, no, that was wrong. I mean, I'm not even ready yet. Financially, we are not there yet. I mean, I have a goal. I, I know the kind of family I want. We're not there yet financially. Let's, let's hold on on this thing. You know, I mean, we can have that conversation later on. And we, I might collect it and then we have that conversation later on. And for some other persons, they'll tell you, but there's no point. If I'm not going to take it, I'm not going to take it. Not even because there are so many persons there. At the end of the day, I mean, it depends on how you want. I don't have a problem with either way. I mean, either of the two is fine.